Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, so we're currently in Vault 118 um, on Far Harbor. Um, and we are trying to investigate a robot murder. So this is like a robot vault and this robot here was murdered. So we need to solve this crime. <laughs> All right, so I guess first I need to do is I need to examine the blood. Hmm. Is this blood? Which is, oh yeah, because these robots here, they have human brains in the robot. Yeah, so that's like a human brain in the robot. Okay, um, and then brain containment. It looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Right. I'm assuming I have to follow the trail of blood. So we'll go this way. Protect and serve. Right, good job protecting. All right. Oh, it looks like there's a bat here. Ooh, the fence buster. Nice. Ignore 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. All right. Bat? Huh. What's this doing here? Okay. Now we need to find Maxwell and talk about our findings. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Um, let's see. Found the murder weapon. The murder weapon. Oh no. <laughs> That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Um, we need to find and accuse the killer. Investigate Keith McKinney. No. Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I need to go this way. Let's see, we'll go first person. This is a really nice vault. It's so clean. <laughs> you will just like chat with everyone. Hello, concierge. Okay, you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. No, we should, we need to stay focused. We're doing a murder investigation. Residential overseer. We'll see the overseer later. Okay. Let's see, I don't want to steal anything. To go this way. This way. Ooh, look at these lions. Who owns this one? Ooh, so fancy. Look at this. Ooh. I'll just take that, I guess. <laughs> See, they're rehearsing for something. Oh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Wait, get back here. <laughs> Keith. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Yes. Um I found your baseball bat. Found a baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Okay. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Huh? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Mm hmm. I don't want to accuse him yet. Let's just gather all the inf evidence so we can make a somewhat informed uh, decision. Okay. 
Where am I going? I need to go this way for Santiago. This way, and then I have to turn right. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the law, I'm the law. Tell me, are you a devotee at the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Uh, yeah, art is life. Art is life. <laughs> Without it, we are no different than animals. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? Uh, it's about composition. It's about Composition, the balance of colors what and emotions, and the this one? struggle to maintain internal order. <laughs> this was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. Uh, it's obviously the war. It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. It must ascend. It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Well, that's certainly a projected interpretation. <laughs> uh, well, told, that's how I interpret it. Don't judge. You asked me what it meant to me. Just not good for the paint can. Uh, returning to the crime scene. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this water fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that brute actor. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She had That's a rude. rather dramatic <laughs> fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. 
What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gator probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I <laughs> am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Never mind. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things I have to do. Uh, fuck. Okay, who am I looking for? <laughs> okay. Um, did I not investigate Santiago? What? investigated himself or sorry I investigated him the person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs right she and Ezra had a rather okay uh in here hello Mr. Whiskers who's a pretty kitty Juliana yeah Mr. Whiskers died last month this is Cluffy remember oh you wearing a mask? Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh, no. Tell no, me we don't it. need to find something in here because that right. will take a while. <laughs> oh God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now, why don't you... Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Uh... I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, So he will get everything when I die. Mr. Scruffy, you need something? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, detective? Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise. But she's her wife. Sure there are probably some clues at the How would you, she's her wife, though. Was there something else, detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. Uh, not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, detective? <sighs> Tell me about your research. Well, 
I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Robo Brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I, I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Yeah, tell me more. I find it interesting and I understand, so tell me. I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. But that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else, detective? Robobrains have a voice modulator? Tell me about that. Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh, they can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time... Juliana was framed. ...we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects... Uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Uh, maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else, detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I wanted to help with the investigation. Oh, was there something else, detective? Maybe later. Very well. I'll just get back to my work. Mm. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun, dear. Whatever. I'm going to the lab. All right, let's go to the overseer's office. I think it was this way. Was it not like right here? See a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. Where the hell am I going? <gasps> Why am I so lost? <laughs> I did see like a yeah, it's like okay up there. How the fuck do I get there? Protect. Okay, just wait. Where was the dead body? Let's okay, so what I did was I went here and then I went this this way? No. What? This way. I went this way. There we go. Okay, found it. I was just trying to find that area. Okay. Overseer. Damn. Can I take your 118 suit? No. Okay. 
We'll look in the terminal in a second. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, Vault 118 Overseer Instructions. Confidential. Overseer Eyes Only. Violation BTP 01011. A Vault 118 is designed to test the social interactions between the working class and the ultra-wealthy when under confined conditions. Working in conjunction with staff from the Cliff's Edge Hotel, this vault shall function as a luxury hotel to attract the necessary testing subjects. Upon beginning the test, additional subjects shall be admitted from the local population into a second, much inferior wing of the vault. Protocol Manual. Resident Admittance. Prior to experiment activation, Vault 118 shall function as an ultra-elite hotel to attract test subjects of appropriate wealth and status. This shall be operated as clandestine area of the hotel to ensure that individuals drawn to privilege and exclusivity are present. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, the secondary wing of the vault shall be made open to the public and selected from the local working class population. These subjects are to be taken through the exclusive areas of the vault on entry, but thereafter confined to cramped second wing. Once residents have been admitted, the vault is to be sealed until the test results can be determined. Yeah, that's fucked up. Uh, preferential treatment. Group A, ultra elite. This subject group, not to number more than 10, shall have their every desire tended to by robotic staff to the extent that is possible. They are considered to be above all legal restrictions when interacting with test group B, test group B working class. This subject group shall begin at numbering 300 and shall be restricted to the second wing of the vault. Measures should be taken to ensure that living conditions are uncomfortable and cramped. Food and other rations are to be extremely limited and any breach of rules are to be judged by test group A and enacted by robotic staff members. Staff duties and security. Due to the potential for extreme social interactions, vault tech staff shall be restricted to the overseer and key research members. All other security services and maintenance positions shall be filled by robotic staff to ensure safety and test compliance. Okay. Overseer's log. Change of testing parameters. This is completely unheard of. One of the subjects from testing group A is apparently a researcher for general atomics on some sort of advanced robotics program. He and his wife have convinced the other members of group A that with the international situation becoming tense once again, their best chance to outlast the war is to have their brains inserted into these robots and they're doing this voluntarily. It's absolutely insane. I've tried to convince my superiors that this will completely discount the test results, but they seem more intrigued by the idea than, appa than appalled. The door won't open. We've received the activation notice from Fault Tech to begin the test, despite the second wing still being incomplete. However, when I attempted to trigger the recruitment protocol for test group B, the system informed me that I had been locked out. Someone from test group A seems to have overridden the system to prevent the admittance of the local population of the island. They've been pounding on the doors for days and there's nothing I can do. I can't take this. Oh god, it's been weeks now and I realized today that I've become the test subject. Instead of testing the social interactions between the locals and this group of rich assholes, it's just me trapped in here with them. They're going to live forever and I have to deal with them for the rest of my life. I can't take it. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault -Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pane in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Okay.
Who am I looking for? Uh, okay. Who are you? Bert Riggs. Who am I looking for? Who are you? Hello, detective. How Keith. can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I don't think it's you. Where's Juliana Riggs? Okay, not you. Protect and serve. Crap, where was everybody? I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. They're all like in this area. Atrium. Okay, don't want to go there. Oh my god, that's Bert. Fuck. No. I'm just lost. Exit zone. Somebody down here? Uh, oh my gosh, where am I going? I don't think it was the painter. Are you Juliana? Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? You. I see. You're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. I was right. End eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. If I'm going to let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Ah, uh, so it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? I need time to consider this. I'm sorry, detective, but I really do need an answer now. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich or die defending some outdated ideals? Okay, I'll let you go. Well, I'm glad you've decided to be reasonable. <laughs> I would have hated for this to come to more bloodshed. All right, detective. Tell Maxwell that it's over and get your reward. Then I'll make my way out when things have died down. I'm definitely going to tell him about Ezra. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found Ezra, he's the killer. I found Ezra. He killed Juliana and he's been impersonating her. Oh, my. I'll notify the staff and we can put an end to this once and for all. Come in, take lawful use of deadly force. Use the baseball bat he used to kill the other person. Law and order has prevailed. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I wasn't done looting. 
Tell me about the victim. No! His idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. No, no. <laughs> I want to loot the vi Let me loot. Give me that friggin'. There we go. I will take no 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 no. I'll be here should you need me. Okay, everyone go away so I can take friggin the stuff off the body. Thank you. That one, that one, and that one. Okay. Who do I have to talk to? Maxwell. Maxwell. We got him. It's finally over. Here you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus. For uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. I don't want the pre-war money. Give me caps. <laughs> what a waste. Okay, I'm gonna save the game. Okay. We're done. Perfect. Alright, let's get out of this vault. I'm just gonna equip the gun again. Okay, let's go, let's go. How do I leave? Okay, let me see. Is there anything over here? Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, anything in here? Who do you think actually won the war? Nobody, I guess. Yeah. Nobody. This way. The synths won the war. All right, let's get the F out of here. Okay, made it outside. Oh, the vault entrance. Ah, I see, I see. Stand within circle. Okay, so before I leave Far Harbor, somebody else suggested that I visit, what was it? Horizon Flight 1207, and you said it was near the camp or something, or the national park. Um, let's see, I think like right here, I remember seeing an airplane on the map, like on the like compass map marker thing. So we're going to place a marker here, uh, no, we want to place a marker here. Yeah. I think if I go in that direction, um, I'm hoping the airplane will pop up on the compass. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Okay. I actually don't need the marker anymore then. <laughs> Let me remove it. Okay. Oh, you. Woo. There you go. I'll take that. All right, they're fine. They're just crippled. <laughs> All right, where was my airplane? There, this way. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is definitely it. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is like somebody's shelter. <gasps> There's so many dogs. Oh, you're a wolf, Mishka. Where'd the other one go? Duke! 
Oh, who are you? Gracie. Hi. Okay, who... Where is this person? Erickson. Where are you, Erickson? Oh, there you are. Hello, sir. I like your dogs. What were you doing up there in my camp? Um... I like your hat. Nice hat. Oh, uh, thanks. I skinned it myself. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I don't want to give you trouble. Right. Yeah, you're good. Sorry about pointing a gun at you earlier. I just get a bit jumpy when a stranger might be killing my dogs. I would never. Oh, hello again. Did you need something? Um... You don't hate humans? So, why don't you hate humans like the rest of your kind seem to? Started seeing things more clearly when we came here. Who knows? Maybe it's the fog. I just don't see what the point of us all killing each other is. Wow. Did you train these dogs? Yeah, as guard dogs. Not all can be trained, though. Most are used to being kicked or shot at. I can only manage a few at a time, though. So unless I find a new home for one of them, I can't really take on any more. I was interested in buying one of your guard dogs. Which one would you like? I don't know, Gracie. I'll take the mutant hound. Where did you want it to guard? Oh, fuck. Uh, can I move this around later? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what? Let's cancel. Well, I'm not giving you I'll come back. Dogs if you don't have somewhere for to live. No, that's fair, my guy. That's fair. You just live out here by yourself? My kind are mostly stupid brutes. They used to trade with a couple people in Far Harbor, but they don't leave the settlement much these days. The rest of the people on the island are worse. Got any tips about the island? Hmm. There's a What? Got any tips about the island? Hmm. Northwest of Far Harbor, there's a big building on a cliff full of ghouls. Uh, but every once in a while, I've seen robots come out of there too. Mhm. Mm I was just there. You interested in a trade? Uh, maybe. Do I need to buy bullets? Crap, what bullets do I need again? I should really write this down. Um... Okay, let's see. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Uh, I'll buy that. I don't need harpoons. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay. There we go. Traded some stuff, got some bullets. All right, I'll have to come back here with the dog meat later to see what the unique interaction is. And then once I have my settlements all kind of lined up and figure out, I'll come back here and I'll buy these guard dogs for the settlement. But they seem really happy here right now and I don't want to like take them away from their home where they're loved by him. Oh my god, that's so cute. Best friends, look at that. Are you hungry? Here, Aww. have this. Oh my god, you are so kind. Thank you. All right. Thank you for telling me about this guy. I'll try and remember to come back here. If I don't, you guys try and remind me to come back here too. I don't want to steal his things. What is this? No. Okay. So now I think we're going to head off the island. We're going to go back to Far Harbor and we're going to go. Okay. So which way is Far Harbor? Let me just see on the map here. Right, so we're here. Far Harbor is up here. 
So we'll just do place a marker, uh, move marker there. Perfect, okay, so I have a direction I'm heading. Let's go. I'll come back here and like link up the settlement and everything too. I might do that off camera. Create like a supply line or something for one of my settlements. It's just, I want to build, but I also don't particularly enjoy building. <laughs> I'm not that creative and I find it tedious sometimes, but I like having built things. I don't know. I'll have to, maybe one evening when I'm bored or something, I'll play some Fallout and I'll build up some settlements and then I can show you guys. We'll see. But yeah, I'll come back and create a supply line eventually and purchase the dogs. But yeah, this was a really fun DLC. I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of content here, which was nice. I guess that's the point of the DLCs. go. Alright, should I take my power armor with me or leave it? I might leave it at the settlement for now. Eventually I want to like round up all of my power armors and just like have them in one of my settlements all lined up so they look all cool and like lined up together. But I'll, I'll do that later. But yeah, we brought peace to Far Harbor. I think I'm just gonna buy some bullets and stuff really quick. Uh, how's it going? Whatever. Yeah, he's pissed. I'll take a look. Make it fast. All right, so I need 0.44. I need 10 mil, and I need that. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Does double damage if the target is at full health? No, I can't afford. Okay, um, what can I get rid of? Uh, I'll just keep everything. We'll just, I'll just accept it. Okay. Can I buy something from you too? You need Hello, odds, sir? hands, junk, or knickknacks. You've come to the right place. Yeah, yeah. Let's trade. Here's what I got. All right, I will buy that. I will buy that. I will buy all of those. And yeah, that's good. Let's accept. There we go. So we got lots of bullets. Okay, where's all my power armors? All right, I have a bunch of stuff stored in here. I'm gonna store more stuff in here. I'll come back and get it later. Um, just this like power armor stuff. Like we're gonna store that, we're gonna store that. Uh, I'm just gonna store that cause I don't need it. I'll store that. I'm wearing everything else. Okay, what does Valentine have? Let's empty him out. Hey. There's something you- Okay. You can have that. Oh yeah, I stored stuff here already, right? I'm like, that's why he's empty. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll just keep everything stored there. I'll deal with all that later. Yeah, I'll come back for that. Okay, let's let's go to the boat and leave. For 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 now, we'll we'll be back though. Is this my boat? It is. Okay, let me just select the quest. Just I'm just going to remove that. And then we're gonna finish close to home. So Kasumi is on her way home. I should tell Kenji Nakano the good news. So that is what we're gonna do. Let's travel to the Commonwealth.
beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Wow, beautiful. All right, let's go. Mom? Dad? I'm home. Kasumi? Oh my god. My baby is okay. Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Uh... You gonna be okay? Are you all gonna be okay now? Yes. You have made our family whole again. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean... you know we're your parents, right? You're not a sin. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just so confused. I wanted to go somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. She's a synth now. Hold on to her, Kenji. You never know when your family's gonna be taken from you. Oh my I'm god, that's so sad. It's a terrible world out there. We only have each other. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. You don't need to do that. You keep your father's collection for your family. Thank you. Perhaps we'll need it someday. God knows plenty has happened to us already. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Thank you for everything. So I feel like I didn't take the reward because I feel like my character is really sympathetic to families because she lost hers and she wouldn't feel right taking a reward for it. Plus, I don't want to carry more stuff. I have enough weapons and stuff. I'm good. Um, but yeah, I just don't think morally she would have taken a reward for that. All right, let's talk to Nick. We'll do these freaking Eddie's tapes now, Nick. Hey. Now, uh, see what this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. Here's hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. All right. We're done. Who the fuck is Eddie Winter? Nick asked me to help in recovering 10 holotapes belonging to Eddie Winter. He thinks the Commonwealth's police evidence terminal should be able to point me towards the tapes. Okay. That is what we'll be working on. I think that's like the perfect thing to do after this. Okay. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to end the game here for today. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we'll start the Eddie's Tapes thing and finish that off. And if it brings us close to the railroad headquarters, then we'll go there and cash in those quests that I completed for them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.